Hi, good morning. Um, again, I'm Carrie Konoski. I'm the Vice President of Development and Public Affairs for the Kidney Cancer Association. Um, and I just want to welcome you all here again uh, to thank all of our speakers and for Stanford for hosting this meeting for us. Um, every year we very much look forward to this meeting and we have a wonderful turnout here. Um, just a few things in the beginning to let you know, we are videotaping the meeting again, so it will be available on our website a couple weeks following the meeting. So if there's anything that you missed, don't worry about trying to take down all those notes. You can go back and, and watch any of the sessions again. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about what the association is um, and how we can help, help you for those of you that might not be familiar with us. So the Kidney Cancer Association, we are an international nonprofit organization um, made up of patients, family members, friends, um, doctors, nurses, researchers, other healthcare professionals, all working together to find a cure for this disease. Um, this year we're celebrating our um, 25th anniversary. It was founded in 1990 by Eugene Schoenfeld. He was a, a PhD who worked at the Northwestern um, Medill School of Journalism when he was diagnosed. At that time, there were none of these therapies that we have available. There were no patient networks, you know, no real internet for people to get on and, and learn about their disease. So um, Gene went to his doctor, and, and when his doctor said, you know, I'm sorry, there's nothing we can do for you. Enjoy the time with your family. Um, he wasn't going to accept that. And so he quit his job, and his wife um, and he started the Kidney Cancer Association with his doctor and a few other patients um, in Chicago sitting around his kitchen table. And um, he started getting things out there on the internet in the very, very early days. Um, trying to bring patients together. He was a big advocate on fast track approval for, for many of these therapies. And while Gene um, unfortunately passed away from, this, from his diagnosis, I think he would be very excited to see where we are today with this disease. Um, as was mentioned earlier, we do have eight therapies approved now for kidney cancer, um, a few new drugs that are very close for approval, and we're excited um, that some of these may, within the next year, um, be approved for kidney cancer patients. Um, this small organization that started around Gene's kitchen table now consists of over 90,000 patients around the globe. Um, it's our mission to reduce the incidence of and suffering and mortality caused by kidney cancer through innovative and collaborative education and research. So um, our mission, again, is in three areas, education, advocacy, and research. Um, in terms of education, we do pa patient education meetings. So larger regional conferences, such as this one around the US each year, um, we have over 100 small patient support group meetings. So if, you know, if there's not something in someone's area and they're looking to connect with other kidney cancer patients, we can help you get something started in your area. Um, for the larger meetings, we do try to videotape them so that if someone is unable to attend the meeting, or as I mentioned, you, you do attend and it <laughs> kind of goes over your head some of those, um, some of the things you're learning that you can go back online and, um, and rewatch some of the video. And then we do have a um, series of webinars that our nurse advisory board has put together. Um, right now, they are mostly consisting of what the therapies that are approved currently are and how you can manage some of those toxicities that come with them and really kind of learn the difference between these different therapies. We also support physician education. We do two international symposia each year, um, one in the US in the fall, so we'll be in Miami in November, and um, a European conference each spring. Um, next year we'll be in Barcelona. These meetings um, bring in anywhere from 300 to 600 um, physicians um, from across the globe, and it's really a forum for um, doctors and nurses and researchers to get together and talk about the research that they're working on. Um, we have a lot of lively debate, which sometimes is really great because there are so many um, therapies approved now, but there's, um, you know, a lot of talk is what's the best order for these or should we be looking in a new direction? So these meetings are also videotaped, and I would encourage you to go online um, and watch some of those talks. Our um, website we, we really see as our number one resource. So I would you know, encourage you to spend some time on there. We're always looking for feedback. Every couple of years we do try to, to revise it. Um, but we make sure that we have you know, news articles out there of, of what the latest therapies are, um, ways for you to connect with other patients, um, print materials that you can order. Um, and we also have a live chat you can see in the bottom right now. It says leave a message. But um, we usually have someone online. So if you are looking on the website and having trouble finding something or you know, reading something on the website and have some questions, that somebody can, can talk to you in a live, uh, live chat and answer your questions right there. Our primary publication, We Have Kidney Cancer, um, is also available on our website. Uh, you can order um, a hard copy. You can read a, an ebook online. You can download it on Amazon if you have Kindle. 
Um, we do have it available in 13 languages now, which is very exciting. Um, every time we're in a, a different city um, in Europe for our med um, medical education meeting, we do try to get that translated. So it's a, a great resource for patients, especially when you're first diagnosed, um, because it's very comprehensive from you know surgery to the different therapies. Our nurse advisory board updates this usually on an annual basis. Um, so we will have a new, new version coming out, um, hopefully at the end of the year, and hopefully with some, some new approved therapies in there. We are also on social media, so um, if you haven't, if you are online and haven't joined one of our online communities, we have um, over 90,000 patients now on our Facebook group. Uh, just go to Facebook, Kidney Cancer Association, um, as well as Twitter. Um, I mentioned you can see the, the videos are all on our YouTube channel. And we do have a patient um, community on the Inspire website, which is very new. It's growing quickly, and it's really an opportunity for patients to um, communicate with each other one-on-one. -on -one. Um, cl clinical trials are also a really important part of our mission, that we do try to encourage patients to participate in clinical trials to learn how they can be a benefit to you. While we're so fortunate to have so many approved therapies, um, sometimes they don't work for every patient, and none of these is yet the cure, and the only way that we'll get to that point is by continuing to participate in clinical trials. So we work with um, Emerging Med and with um, clinicaltrials.gov, and those are two services that can help match you to a clinical trial that might be right for you. So just a few ways on how you can help us. Um, as I mentioned, we do support group meetings throughout, throughout the U.S., so if you're interested in one, um, start a support group meeting in your area. Also, um, starting a fundraiser. This is an area that has really grown for us. Um, I think a lot of it, too, with the um, increase in social media has been an opportunity for patients and their families to tell their stories, to get out there and you know, do local walks and runs and raise money for kidney cancer, do a dinner event with your friends, um, and not only raising funds but really spreading awareness for this disease. Um, and share your story. Uh, you know, you all have unique stories for this disease that a lot of people haven't heard about um, until it hits someone close to them. So we do encourage you to not be afraid to share your story. Um, go on to our website and sign up for our e-newsletter. We put that out monthly where we'll feature um, events that patients have done for us. Um, you know, if there's a, a new therapy, if there's some, something in the news, we'll, we'll feature those out there. Um, if there's interest in uh, clinical trial accrual, we'll, we'll tell you how you can, can um, participate in the clinical trial. And then I would also encourage you to make a donation. Um, you can do by mailing us a check, um, making an online contribution, and we really, you know, can't do what we do without all of your support. So. Um, again, thank you, and as I mentioned, please visit our website, kidneycancer.org, if you haven't. Um, we've got ways to contact us, phone, email, and we're always happy to help you in any way that we can. So I hope that you enjoy the meeting today. I will be outside um, throughout the day, so if you have any other questions about the organization, I'd be happy to speak with you. Thank you.